Hello, Ellie here from Thankful Flow Yoga. Thank you for joining me for another YouTube practice. Today we're going to be doing a strong and grounding practice. Um, so I would suggest that this flow is suitable for someone who already has an existing yoga practice. But as always, just taking what is going to serve you today and leaving anything that doesn't. There will be different options throughout. Um, and using blocks and props to support you. Um, so what we'll be doing today is really connecting to that earth element, that sense of having a strong grounding and foundation of safety and security. Um, so connecting to that kind of energy as we strengthen and stretch and balance and twist and all the juicy things that we want in our practice um, uh, but whilst maintaining that inner sense of security and stability um, so yes that's what we'll be doing today uh, come down into your comfortable seated position so that we can get started so before we close the eyes today, we're going to come into a uh, type of qigong movement. So we're going to have the hands out to the side with the palms facing up. And you can either focus more on the breath with this movement or you can focus on the energy completely up to whatever feels right to you. So on your inhale, you're imagining that you are drawing energy up with the hands all the way up. And then on the exhale, elbows come out to the side and palms are facing down and we press the energy down like a coffee plunger. So inhale, palms are up, drawing energy up, going with your breath. And exhale, imagine drawing that energy back down. So I want you to start to close the eyes now if that's comfortable and take these movements, inhale, drawing energy up. Exhale, drawing the energy back down. And imagine that you are creating almost this field of energy around you. And it's like a little safety bubble. It's like a safety bubble of grounding, strong foundations, security. And these are these basic needs that we have that help us to then go ahead and flow with life. So having our basic survival needs met, connecting to the earth, that ground beneath us. So start to take your last Qigong movement now, inhale, drawing energy up. Exhale, bringing the hands back down, drawing the energy back down to earth, and then placing the fingertips on the ground beside you or onto blocks. Just notice the connection between your hands and the ground for a moment. Notice your breath. Let your sitting bones sink down into the earth. What does safety and security mean to you? Opening the eyes up now. And we'll come through. Position. Shoulders above the wrists, hips above the knees. Inhale, shine the heart forwards into your cow. Exhale, tuck the tailbone in, round the spine into cat. Start to float through between cat and cow with your breath, mobilizing the spine. Taking any variation of cat and cow that feels good. Maybe you go off on a little tangent here, take some little circles. Maybe you're in your traditional cat and cow. Maybe you're making these movements a little bit bigger. There's no right or wrong. Just feel into the movements that your body wants to take.
Well done. And coming back to neutral spine position, reach the right leg out behind, reach that left fingertips out in front. Option to bend into the right leg, maybe the left hand takes the right foot, press the foot into the hand, taking this kind of half bow pose option, breathing here. Releasing with control, bringing everything back in. Left leg comes out behind, right fingertips reach out in front. Either staying here or we bend through the left leg, Right hand finds the left foot, press the foot into the hands, the hand back into the foot. Finding a little bit of spinal extension, opening the right shoulder. Grounding into this left hand that's on your mat and releasing with control. Tuck the toes under, exhale hips to the sky, find downward facing dog. So we're really pressing our hands and our feet down into the mat and hips are lifting away from the mat up to the ceiling. Notice your connection between your hands and your feet to the ground. Take any movement that you want to take in your first downward facing dog of your practice. And then we'll walk the feet in towards the hands, come into a standing forward fold and just walk your hands underneath your feet. Take as much bend as you need to in the legs. And we're going to press the hands just gently into the feet, the feet back into the hands. It's like they're giving each other a little massage. So maybe shifting the weight around a little bit here. Maybe look forwards and backwards. Opening up into the back of the body, the backs of the legs, all these areas that often store tightness or tension. Keep coming back to that connection to earth, your connection to the ground beneath you. Feeling held and supported. Release the hands. Keep some softness in the legs. Inhale with a rounded spine. Curl the body up. Make sure you tuck the tailbone in as you come up. Lifting the head up last. Take a big shoulder roll here. Let the shoulder blades run down your back. Lift just the toes away from your mat, spread the toes and plant them back down. See if you can plant the toes back down one by one, really grounding into all four corners of the feet. Notice how you're standing here. So how we stand and we hold ourselves in this practice can often represent how we carry ourselves and hold ourselves within the world. So again, this is not to judge yourself in any way, it is to be aware, to notice, how am I standing? How am I holding myself today? And what could that be communicating to me? Ground into your feet, inhale, sweep the fingertips up. Siri Namaskar A, exhale, fold forwards, bend the legs as much as you need to. Inhale, lift the chest, lengthen the spine, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands come down to the mat, step or jump the feet back to plank. And flow through your chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Inhale, send your gaze between the hands, step or jump the feet in. Lift the chest, lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. And inhale, sweep those fingertips back up. Lift the heart away from the tailbone. Exhale, hands through to heart center. Inhale, sit the hips back, find your Utkatasana. Make sure that you're drawing the belly in. If you've got a pelvic tilt, you could be really sitting into your lower back here. So just notice if that's you and draw the belly button in towards the spine. 
Bring your hands into heart center. Take a twist to the right. Don't put the elbow down yet. Just see if you can hold it here, working into the obliques. Then the left elbow comes to the right thigh, pressing the palms of the hand in together. From here, see if you can take a big step back with the left foot, finding that lunge, twisted lunge. Draw the belly away from the thigh. Working here, maybe opening up. Keep grounding into that right foot. If you wobble, if you fall out, that's okay. Just come back in when you're ready. Then bring the hands back to Anjali Mudra, palms back together. Inhale, lift the chest coming out of your twist. Lengthening through both legs now, left toes are pointing out to the side slightly. Inhale, lift up and out from the waist. Exhale, we're going to float this left hand to the outside of the right foot or take it down to a block. You may well want to take your block here and then reach the right fingertips up to the ceiling, finding our evolved trigonasana. Breathing. Breathing into any of those wobbles and shakes. I know I just had one. And I'm sure there'll be more throughout this practice. And that's okay. From here, see if you can bring some softness into your right leg. Bringing that left hand down to the ground. Lift the left leg away, but keeping the right fingertips reaching up to the ceiling. So we're in our revolved Ardha Chandrasana, our revolved half moon. Maybe the gaze can come up to the ceiling as well. Stay with the breath. Well done. You're doing great. And then seeing if you can keep the balance. No worries if not. We're going to lift that left hand away from the mat and float the left leg back in, meeting into Dasana Mountain Pose. Whew. So, getting a strong and grounded already. Don't worry if you're wobbling and falling out. This is what this practice is all about, is coming back to your grounding. So it's all about if you come out of a pose, getting back in, finding that grounding again, recentering again. So inhale, sit the hips back, Utkatasana. Draw the belly away from the thighs, reaching the arms up by the ears or out in front. Float the hands through to heart center. Start to take the twist to the left. Try and pause here, really use that strength first. Then the right elbow can come to the left thigh. Breathing here. Take a big step back with the right leg. Find that twisted lunge. You could always drop the back knee to modify if you need to. Option to open the arms out here. Maybe the gaze can come up towards the ceiling. Float the hands back in, palms coming back in together. Lifting the chest, coming back to center. Lengthen through both legs. Right toes pointing out at a slight angle. Inhale, reach the crown of your head to the ceiling. Exhale, we start to bring this right hand to the outside of the left foot or to a block on the outside of the left foot. Left fingertips reach up, revolve Trigonasana. Stay with me. Keep breathing, keep that prana flowing. <laughs> And then you can soften into that front leg if you need to. Right hand comes down to the mat in front. Try and keep the left fingertips lifted. Lift the right foot away from the mat for evolved half moon. Ardha Chandrasana. Breathing here. This is a tricky one if you're not used to, or if you're quite open-hipped person. <laughs> and when we're doing these particular sequence, you know, we're closing the hips. 
so this for some of us might be find it a little bit more comfortable and others it'll be less comfortable now starting to see if you can lift that right hand away from the mat float the right leg back in and we're back into dasana mountain pose well done and take a breath here ground into the feet again inhale reach the fingertips up lift the heart away from the tailbone exhale fold forwards inhale lift the chest lengthen the spine exhale hands come down to the mat step or jump it back float through your version of chaturanga inhaling upward facing dog or cobra exhale back to your downward facing dog take a breath here inhale we sweep this right foot through between the hands back heel down reach the fingertips up find warrior one lifting up and out from the waist now grounding into that right leg bring your weight into the right leg and start to hook your left leg over the right bend you see the leg finding your eagle pose so your eagle you could be just hooking here maybe the foot's wrapping around the right calf just take your version of eagle and left leg's on top of right leg so right arm comes on top of left arm taking eagle, eagle arms here or taking a hug instead so lifting the chest but sitting the hips down Strong inner line of energy. Well done. And releasing from your eagle. Adding an extra step in if you need to. Or seeing if you can take a big step back to high lunge. Whoop. So heels lifted away from the mat. Inhale, reach your fingertips up. As you exhale, we're twisting. Left hand comes out in front. Right arm reaches behind inhale here as you exhale keep the arms lengthened and just see if you can bring the left hand down to the mat right arms are reaching up easy twist well done either staying here or seeing if you can now come onto the knife edge of your left foot and lift that right leg away to a side plank And then from your side plank, bring those left toe, those right toes out behind and lift the hips and the heart to the ceiling. Find your wild thing. Keep breathing. And releasing, unraveling making your way back to a downward facing dog inhale float forwards to plank work through your vinyasa inhaling upward facing dog or cobra and exhaling back to a downward facing dog this time we inhale step the left foot through between the hands back heels down reach the fingertips up warrior one Hearts are lifting up. Breathing here. And then bringing the weight into your left foot. Step this right leg in, hook it over the left, sink the hips down, find your eagle. Whichever version of eagle you're in, sitting the hips down, lifting the chest. Imagine drawing energy from the ground into the feet, the legs. This lower body is all connected to our earth element, to Muladhara, our root chakra, and of course our grounding. And releasing. 
Taking that big step back, find your high lunge. Sweep the fingertips up to the ceiling, lift up and out from the waist. Exhale, right fingertips reach forward to the left, reach back, so we're in a twist. And then seeing if you can keep the arms lengthened, float the right hand down to the ground, left arms reaching up, you're now in an easy twist. You could either opt to stay here and work and take your breaths here, or you can start to come onto the knife edge of that right foot, lifting that left leg away, coming into a side plank or taking a modified side plank. And then maybe the left toes come down to the mat. Inhale, lifting the heart and the hips up to the ceiling, finding wild thing. Keeping those legs and those glutes engaged if you're in your wild thing. Supporting the spine. And then floating back around. Coming back to a downward facing dog or a child's pose. Lifting those hips upwards. We'll take a final vinyasa to so come back to plank. And inhale into upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, hips come to the sky for downward facing dog. Inhale, send the gaze between the hands, step or float the feet in. Lift the chest, lengthen the spine, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, bend the legs as much as you need to. Inhale, sweep the fingertips up. Hearts lifting and exhale, hands through to heart center. Now I want you to come back to that Qigong movement. So we're gonna bring the arms to the side of the body, palms of the hands facing upwards. And you can have a little softness in your legs for this as well. So either connecting to that sense of the energy or the breath, depending on what feels right for you. So inhale, we're drawing energy up. Exhale like a coffee plunger, palms facing down, press that energy down. Closing the eyes now or taking a steady gaze, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, slowly draw that energy back down to the earth. Inhale, drawing that energy around you, creating that energy bubble. Exhale, grounding down. What are you filling that energy bubble up with? What is within that bubble that helps you to feel centered and grounded and stable? Taking your last Qigong movement. And keeping the eyes closed if you can, release the arms down by the side of the body. Relax everything as much as you can. Relax the face, the cheeks, the jaw. Relax your shoulders, let your shoulder blades run down your back. Scan down your arms into the hands and the fingers. Keep scanning down the body into the feet, the toes. Just notice whatever you notice. And starting to open the eyes back up now if you had them closed. We'll bring the hands to heart center and just come up on your toes, find a drishti or a gazing point, start to bend through the legs, 
really slowly with control, just lowering the hips down towards the mat. And seeing as your hips come down close to the mat, if you can take a little hover here. And then bring your hips down, come back to a comfortable seated position on your mat. And we'll close the eyes again here, or take the gaze out in front, and bring the fingertips down to connect with the ground. As you inhale, imagine drawing energy up from the ground, up to your heart center. And as you exhale, just imagine letting go of anything that's no longer needed. Inhale, breathing in that sense of security, stability, safety. And exhaling out, making space, letting go of anything that's not serving you. Bring the palms of the hands together and just tap the hands to meet the ground, just honoring being in this present moment, connecting to our strong grounding today, physically, mentally, emotionally, whatever that is for you. And opening the eyes back up when you're ready. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. Um, I hope that you found that uh, strong and grounding and stretchy and all the things um, in between, <laughs> twisty as well. Um, do feedback to me on how you're getting on or any requests of any kind of flows that you really like or would like to see. Um, I have linked below um, some links to some other flows that I've done on this channel that you may like and other things that I offer as well. Uh, do subscribe to the channel, it's completely free. Um, and yeah, just really appreciate you flowing with me. Um, and I can't wait to join you again for another practice, hopefully very, very soon. Take care, bye-bye. <laughs>